If your Motorola G31 is stuck on FRP lock interface, or you always forget the Google account and passcode, don't rush to pay for someone to fix it. Today, we will reveal bypass methods that even the official company didn't tell you about. They are proven to be effective. Let's dive in. You may have heard about master codes that can unlock your phone's screen. If you're wondering whether there is a code to bypass Google account verification, the answer is yes. The steps to use these codes are very simple. Step 1. Swipe up on the lock screen and click the emergency call icon on the screen. Step 2. Next, dial asterisk hashtag asterisk pound 0852 pound asterisk hashtag asterisk or asterisk hashtag asterisk pound 4636 pound asterisk hashtag star. Enter the code as many times as you can until your phone no longer displays Google account verification. However, this method doesn't always work. The Google FRP code has a success rate of only 50% and is better suited for lower Android systems. Systems. Additionally, multiple frequent operations may also lead to irreversible damage to the system, but don't worry, there is a safer alternative, which is DroidKit, allowing all Android devices to effectively bypass Google accounts. You can also use the Samsung FRP SIM pin unlock. This method requires using your SIM card to receive a link or code from Google to reset the password. Therefore, you must insert the SIM card into another device to receive the text message from Google. Here is how to complete the Samsung FRP unlock through this method. 1. Once you reset your Samsung phone, it will ask you to enter your Google credentials. Tap on Forgot Password at this point. 2. Take out your SIM from the locked Samsung phone and put it in any other device. Select the option to reset the password using your phone number. You will receive the link to reset your password via text. 3. Once you set up a new password, you can use it to access your locked Samsung phone. If you have tried the above methods and still failed, don't panic. You need a more professional FRP bypass tool. One-click cracking of the latest system, fully automated operation, 10 times faster than manual tossing. Now I will show you how to bypass FRP lock on any Motorola phone. Firstly launch DroidKit on your computer, and click the FRP bypass option. Now connect your Motorola device to your PC via USB cable and click Start. Then you need to choose the device brand. Now wait for DroidKit to prepare a configuration file for your device. Then select your Android system version and click Next. Then follow the on-screen instructions to complete some settings on your device. Once you complete the steps on the screen, it will bypass the FRP lock on your device. As you can see, DroidKit is super easy to use. No password or Google account is required. It only takes a few minutes to unlock FRP and access the device. Even novices can use it easily. The whole process protects user data and supports multiple brands and models of devices such as Samsung, Xiaomi, Redmi, Poco, etc. That's all. DroidKit is definitely a hassle-free solution, ideal for those looking for a quick and efficient way to bypass the FRP lock on their Motorola phone. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips and tutorials. See you next time.